President Duterte slammed human rights groups that are allegedly spreading or allegedly responsible for spreading the black propaganda against his family, particularly those who are tagging his youngest daughter, Kitty, to drugs. The chief executive is now threatening to release an intelligence report that will identify those behind the infamous video. JC Cusico has the story. black propaganda, pati ang anak kong si Veronica, 14 years old drug addict, may ipalabas ako. You just wait. Just like any other father, President Rodrigo Duterte defended his 14-year-old daughter Kitty against rumors linking her to the drug trade. During PDP Laban's campaign rally in Tregarao, the chief executive hit the infamous video called Ang Totoong Narco List that alleges that the presidential daughter and her mother Hanlet are receiving payoffs from drug syndicates. The president also threatened to release an intelligence report that he said will show that human rights groups are behind the supposed black propaganda. What you did not know is that you were being listened to abang ginagawa ninyo yung kalukuhan ninyo. Eh, labas ko yan in a few days. Pineperfect ko lang ang ano. It was an intelligence report not from us but from another country. Duterte also took the opportunity to rail against police officials who are still involved in the illicit trade. He identified three provinces which he believes still cuddle narco cops. Bakit mo ginamit ang SAF na hindi naman sanay sa terrain sa topography ng lugar kung paano yung bukid malalim, saan yung mga cave? Pinadala mo yung mga polis Ang training yan, komando nga, Maynila lang. Bakit hindi mo inutosan ang mga sundalo dyan mismo sa harap ng mama sa pano? And just like in his previous speeches at campaign sorties, Duterte also lashed out at opposition candidates. This time though, he trained his sights on former presidential rival Mar Rojas. Duterte said he still has a lot of questions for the former DILG particularly on the Mama Sapano massacre where 44 members of the police special action force were killed. I have three years. Dito sa Cagayan, may mga anim pa dito na mamalaki tapos patumbahin ko talaga yan. Ang naglalaro yan, Baguio, Mountain Province, Kayo, kala ninyo mas bright kayo sa gobyerno, ha? The president held PDP Laban's Domango de Datu. According to him, unlike Rojas, the Mackindanao politician has done more in saving the lives of soldiers and civilians. Duterte has been leading the ruling party's campaign trail. These sorties have also become a venue for the chief executive to criticize his critics, as well as the opposition. For News 5, J.C. Corsico, VR1 News.